Hi everyone, welcome back once again to another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we are going to look at the latest updates from Starbase. Updates on the Polaris Dawn mission, Rocket Labs the OWL spreads its wings mission and finally updates on Artemis 1 mission. After cancelling both the previous road closure schedules, SpaceX is set to resume testing on Booster 7 today. An overpressure alert has already been handed out to the local residents and hopefully, we will have a potential static fire test. Now the real question is, how many engines? I don't know. Last time they did possibly a 33-engine spin prime test, and based on how many Raptors actually passed and failed the test, they will proceed the test. If I have to say looking at the past few static fire tests, I would say we are about to witness a massive static fire event at Starbase sooner rather than later. I am not sure if they would do a full 33 engine static fire, but at least, I'm expecting either inner 13 or outer 20 separately first. What do you think? Comment down below. At the build site, stacking of Starship S25 has been completed inside the high bay. Due to bad weather, SpaceX scrubbed both the previous attempts to launch its latest Starlink mission from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. It will make its third launch attempt tonight. We are all excited about the upcoming Polaris mission. Just Monday this week, the Polaris Dawn crew had already started training for the spacewalk as part of the upcoming Polaris Dawn mission. This will be the world's first commercial extravehicular activity 500 kilometers above the Earth with special SpaceX-designed EVA suits. The Polaris Dawn is another fully privately funded mission and is expected to launch later this year. I can't wait for this particular mission. Rocket Lab is all set to launch its seventh mission of the year and 30th overall for the company today. The mission nicknamed the Owl Spreads Its Wings will lift off from Pad B at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand at 2030 UTC. This mission will launch Japanese satellite manufacturing company, Synspective Strix-1 Satellite. Strix-1 is Synspective's first commercial satellite for its synthetic aperture radar satellite constellation. Finally, here are a few updates on Artemis 1 mission. NASA pushed back its cryogenic demonstration test on the SLS rocket from September 17 to September 21. Officials said two seals have been replaced on the hydrogen line of the quick disconnect plate on the rocket. It will be interesting to know what exactly will be this cryogenic demonstration test. Is it another compromised wet dress rehearsal? A few days after NASA scrubbed the Artemis 1 launch attempt, officials said they would need to roll SLS back to the vehicle assembly building to reset the flight termination system. But that case is no longer in the discussion. NASA will once again attempt to launch its moon rocket on September 27th with a backup opportunity available on October 2nd. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the updates. If you did, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.